So now we are starting to use the clear weight too. So I've plugged it into the wall. This is a nice big on button. So like the old clear weight, it comes on with the previous uh, settings that have been used before. Every time you turn it on and every time you change your settings, it comes up with um, this box asking if you've got the right circuit. So just press the tick button. Sometimes it's a bit uh, sensitive with um, the touch screen, so sometimes a pen is better. So what we've decided for on-call purposes, there is different modes, which is in this bottom bit here. So we've got manual mode, which is um, you can manually give the inspirations and the expirations. Basic auto, which gives you 20 um, breaths in and out, so we won't be using that today. Uh, we've got the bird, we've got NIV, which we're going to talk about at a later time. So, for uncle purposes, program auto is similar to the previous clear way. So, you've got your inspiratory breaths up here. So, I said to plus 35, we have a trigger which can go up to 10. This is a lot more sensitive than the previous clear way. So, even with my paediatrics on. Um, a triggered auto of one, they are tending to trigger it really well. For patients that are on um, ICU who are like sedated and ventilated, we uh, you need to turn the inspiratory trigger off. So then the machine does it for you. So it's similar to when the inspiratory trigger is off, similar to the clearway before where that is timed auto, and then this one is triggered auto. Then you've got your timed inspiration and then your rise time. So how quickly it takes to get to the plus 35, which you can change to up to five from that down. Then you turn that off. The next one is your inspiratory breaths. How many breaths you wish to give, whether you wish to breath stack the patient beforehand. Then you've got your expiratory. So similar to your inspiratory um, and your expiratory time to come out as well. And then you've got your pause time. Then up here is your treatment cycle. So how many times do you want the cycle to be completed? And then this is like your vibs that we had on the old um, clear way that was in the advanced settings. So you can provide vibs of up to 10, up to 10 hertz. But I've been doing it a bit differently. So then you can do inspiratory on and off so you can add as well so you can do inspiratory um, vibs and expiratory vibs as well see what i mean it doesn't want to work <laughs> anyway let's get rid of that so after when you've got your cycle sorted and you've got your um your circuit added so we've got the um, recruitment breath. So that's your, po your two um, breaths post your cycle, uh, the insufflation breaths that we use on the previous um, clear weight. So you can add up to 10 breaths if you wanted to as well. So the thing to note about these recruitment breaths is that they don't automatically come on after your circuit. It does not want to come off at all. Okay, so the circuits have also changed since the other Clearway. Jackie has kindly bagged up uh, Clearway 1 and Clearway 2 circuits in our uh, respiratory cupboard uh, to show which ones we are using. The difference between the Clearway 1 and 2 is that there is no pressure line on your circuit. So it is exactly the same, just no extra uh, pressure line. So on this one, I've entrained the oxygen, so that is the same as before. So it would just be the oxygen to the wall or whichever. And then it's just reattaching. So as normal as the previous circuit, that is absolutely fine. So if I plug it in and show you where the recruitment breaths do not add in at the beginning. So if I start it, so this is the start button.
So at the end of the cycle, it'll come up with treatment has finished, press start, stop button to begin your recruitment breaths. So this is due to, um, I'm speaking to the rep that you could suction. So you can take off the mask now, have a suction, put the mask back on and then give your recruitment inspiratory breaths just as, um, so we don't like push down the secretions that we've already brought up. So this eventually, this box does come off ar around about two minutes after this has finished. So if you have missed the timings for it to give the recruitment breaths, you can always give a manual breath. For like your recruitment breaths if you've missed that window opportunity. On paediatrics, what we've been doing with our patients, currently we have three patients on the ward that are using the clear way. So another mode that is on here, if you press load profile, that is profile one, two, three, and four. So say if I load profile one, which is one of our patients at the minute, it has already loaded the settings for you, so you don't need to change it. If uh, so, when I am writing the notes at the minute, I am writing clearway two profile one, and then sometimes I write like the settings plus thirty five minus forty afterwards, just so that people can just go straight in to the profiles. Like I said, every um, setting you still need to do the two insufflation breaths after you finish the circuit.